In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to use Marcus Mariota in Madden NFL 16. Guys, uh, welcome to today's video. My name is Cody Ballard. I love making Madden NFL 16 uh, guides for you. And uh, today we're going to be discussing our Offensive Scheme of the Week series. We're look taking a closer look at the Philadelphia Eagles playbook and uh, how we can use it to really make Marcus Mariota uh, a really good and effective option for us. And today we're looking at the uh, three-headed rushing attack feature uh, of the offense. And the three-headed rushing attack, what we want to be able to try to accomplish is we want to have a run that is able to stretch the defense to the right side of the field, to the left side of the field, and then also a run down right down the middle. And uh, I really like... Uh, this this package, I think it's a really uh, effective offense. And so uh, what we're trying to do here today is we're trying to find something in the Philadelphia Eagles playbook to really utilize uh, all of those features uh, of the offense here. So uh, just kind of going through the playbook here, well, again, what we look for is something that we can use to run to the right, run to the left, and then run right down the middle. And, uh, and so, you know, a, a lot of packages come to mind, but this Wing Trips Eagle Week is probably one of the ones that I really like the most uh, in that we have the inside zone split, and then we also like to use uh, a read option type run here, this Y lead re-op read option is a, a nice option. Um, and then another playbook or another package we like is this Wing Trips Eagle because we have that 0-1 trap. We also have the slot option. Um the inside zone, outside zone uh, combination, but we don't have a ton of things. Uh, let me look at this quarterback slot option and show you here a little bit what we got. We got to see why we have this nice pitch defender, and this is really what we want to look for, something like this, because we have this nice run to Sankey uh, where we can run down the middle. And then the cool part, we always check your audibles too. Um, so what we want to check here is what our run audible down is, and you see it's this nice little, um, it's, a, it's a different option, a little auto motion run here. Um, and this is just a power run to Sankey down the middle. So really not something that we're going to look for because I don't really like auto motion runs. Um, we do have a play action off of it in the same kind of motion. Um, but the interesting thing is that, uh, again, you know, it, it, it is an interesting little play here. But... And what we're primarily focused on is this triple option, uh, and, and this will probably be the the main run we're going to discuss today. But this comes from the this comes from a three wide receiver, one tight end set, which is going to give us an opportunity to go to all these different formations here. You see, but uh, the key here again is you want to read. Your, it's just a simple read, and uh, so we're going to read this guy, the R defender, and if he crashes down on Sankey, then we're going to keep the ball with Mariota. If he doesn't crash down on Sankey, then we're going to uh, go ahead and hand him the ball off by holding X. Here he stays at home, so we're going to hand the ball off and just run right down the middle. You see that that's that first set of the three-headed rushing attack, having something to stretch the defense to the left side of the field. Um, and then now we're going to read, uh, and, and then now we'll show you uh, here if they uh, crash down on, on, on the running back, then we're going to uh, not hold X. We're going to just leave it as is and be able to hold the ball with Mariota and run now to the right side of the field, as you see there. Um, and so that's kind of the, the key here is to read that. Now, when you get to that read, what you're going to be able to do now uh, is you're going to be able to uh, hit L1, and, and then you're wanting to focus on this pitch defender, the guy with a little P icon above him. This guy, uh, what you're going to basically be reading here is if he goes with the quarterback, you're going to hit L1 to pitch the ball to Kendall Hunter. If he doesn't go with the quarterback, if he stays on the wide receiver, then you're going to run the ball right down the middle with Mariota. So here, the situation, here he takes the defender, so we're going to now be able to run the ball right down the middle of the field, and Marcus Mariota is going to get a nice big gain for us um, out of this triple option. And you see this is the second component of the rushing attack, having something that is able to uh, run the ball right down the middle, right down the center of the defense. And then thirdly, um, being able to pitch the ball, and as you see here, I mean, they're not, they're not going to give us that option. Um, but let me see if I can maybe manipulate the defense to kind of show this uh, option here. We're going to go ahead and option quarterback. And here, like I said, you know, you always have this run to Sankey uh, if, they if, they, you know, if they don't go down with you. Um, but then, of course, if they do go down with you, I'm trying to get an example here. We may not be able to. And you see this is a really nice run to Sankey. I mean, it, it, it's a really good run uh, off that left side, left, left edge. But the, the key here is also if they, you know, if they, if they don't go with him, so like here they don't go, and we didn't get the pitch out, pitch out of the ball out of our hands quick enough. But um, your read defender comes down here; he stays up again. So we're going to run that nice little dive uh, to Sankey. But then the the far wide, the far right run, the the right edge run um, is to your wide receiver 
on that pitch. Uh, and if you go ahead and hit L1, you're going to be able to pitch it here. And I'm just going to do it just to show you this. But here we pitch it to the Kittle Hunter, and now you see you got a wide receiver out there uh, with the ball in his hands, uh, able to really make some things happen. Obviously, you're, we're going to have our depth chart set up uh, to where we have you know, a nice a nice back there where we can really run with it. So that's kind of the three-headed rushing attack that we're going to look at doing with Philadelphia. Um, and then obviously we have this little inside zone run and our audibles that we can really use for those heavy middle rushing attacks where they're kind of maybe, maybe the defense is kind of spread out like this situation where the defense is kind of spread out. We want to really power that ball right down the middle of the field uh, and we can hand the ball off to Sankey and you see that he gets some nice some nice yardage there so that's our three-headed rushing attack from the Philadelphia Eagles playbook guys um, really like this package I, I think it's a really effective running set um, because of the fact that it's it's so weighted to the right that it's an easy read um, and here you see we got that nice pitch out uh, if we want it uh, to take Hunter to the outside though so just be sure you're reading your defenders um, it's all about what the defense does and you see here I mean you're really going to be able to take advantage of them um, because there's really no scenario where the defense is really going to have every option covered uh, with a, a running play that gives you three different options. Um, you know, this really becomes a, a nice play for your for your offense. Um, you know, the ability to run the ball to the left, to run the ball down the middle, and to run the ball to the right is the same basic principle um, that all of our running sets is based off of. And see here, you know, if they're really overplaying that middle run, you can nice, get a nice quick pitch out to Kendall Hunter uh, and get to the edge there with him. And you see this, um, you know, see this very evident. Now, of course, it is a dangerous play. Like I said, um, you know, you need to be confident in your pitches and your switches. But uh, again, here, you know, get that switch out, and then you got that wide receiver to get him to the ball, get him to the edge. So just based on what the defense does, you know, but of course, then we always had the play action off of it. Uh, and you see this nice little play action inside zone. I like to cancel the play action, get a quick little touch pass out to Delaney Walker, and uh, really kind of take advantage of that. So that is our three headed rushing attack from the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. And uh, be sure to come back, and we'll show you some more stuff from the playbook this week uh, as we're going through. Uh, if you guys like this kind of breakdown and you want, a little bit more detailed you can check out my offensive guide I have a full offensive guide breaking down uh, you know the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook uh, and it's a really you know detail oriented it's a full e-guide so you can check that out in the description uh, the product is available uh, for purchase it's fairly cheap uh, I don't think it's very expensive so you guys be sure to check out that link if you're looking to get better